Mheshimiwa Dakta, sasa wanogeshe familia, ndugu jamaa na marafiki kwa kuwatumia pesa bure. Halo pesa kwenda Halo pesa na Halo pesa kwenda mitandao mingine kwa gharama nafuu zaidi. Halo Telo, pamoja katika ubora. Uh, this is Mpoki Thompson for the beat on Friday. Today we are with uh, an international renowned model, Naila Bernard from Tanzania. She's going to talk about her life and the predicaments that she has gone through while trying to pursue her modeling career in South Africa. So, welcome Naila. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, um, can you tell us um, about your story? You have an interesting story to tell, one that will inspire other models who want to take the path that you have taken. Mm-hmm. So, could you just tell us like everything that you have been through? Um, first first and foremost i want i want everybody who has this dream of being a model i want i want you to understand that in a bd iwe iwe something about you really want to do because if it's not you're gonna get off the path so quickly because of the things you'll go through you're going to starve you're going to cry a lot you're going to feel sorry for yourself you're going to feel like you're not enough you're going to feel all these things that are like, you know what, are humili- humiliating. Why am I even here? Why am I doing this? And I, I went through all those. And then for me, it made me realize, you know what, at the end of the day, this thing is built within you. This is your passion. And this is what maybe you're meant to do on this earth. This is what, whatever, whatever way, kama itakuletea mafanikio kama mwanamitindo, au itakuletea mafanikio kama um, the person you have been through this, alafu wengine wajifunze kupitia kwako, whichever way, but you have to go through this. In modeling, guys, it's not an easy joke. It's not a glitz and glamour as we all see it. Sisi tunaendaga tu on set, tena unaambiwa come, come with your clean nails, come, come neat, come whatever, and then you naenda pale, unafanya shoot, unaondoka. When you leave, you have a different story at home. Yani yao ma photographer, sijui, everything umekiacha pale, hizo cameras, everything umekiacha pale. Sasa what happens at home as a normal person is what makes you. Kwa sababu those wakati uko pale on set, it's like what? Five minutes? It depends how long you're shooting. And sometimes to kiwaga on set, it's like a relief of unasau a little bit of what is going on behind the scene. No mana unasemaga, there is more to what meets the eye. There is more to what, more than what's going on behind the scene. So, kwa mimi, um, this past four years have been really, really hard. Lakini sasa hivi where I'm standing, I'm like, you know what, I'm really grateful kwa sababu umumu wa imi ya kamini ilopita, umenisababisha, umeni make mimi kuwa ambayo nilioko. Sawa nilishinda top model 2013, ni Kawan, o Nila Bernard, o... Lakini, at the end of the day, um, I'm always that person who always want to see deeper meaning in things. So, wakati nimeshinda top model, mimi I thought it would be, yes, nimeshinda top model, oh, my life was gonna be amazing. Lakini the first night na kumbuka wakati nimeshinda Tanzania top model, when I woke up the next morning, I still was the same person. I still had situations that I couldn't even figure out. I still I still had insecurities. I still had issues I'm born on a come okay, I'm not enough sina ela sina nini. So I was like, okay, so what exactly is this thing about? And nakumbuka kuna kuna wana mitindo wengi. I can't mention a name because I it's a lot of people. Ambo wana wana okay. If I carry my title, that's that's who I am. Tawanya shawa tu ome mini Tanzania top model mini Tanzania top model. I didn't want that to be one of those people. Yani mimi don't know. Tawanya shawa Tanzania top model. I wanted to have deeper meaning. Kwamba okay, you are Tanzania top model, and then what? Yani what what do you bring to the table? There is there has to be more to that than just a title. No matter na sema ata kitabu nazo kasoma kitabu kimeendi kwa title flan alafu kiki soma it's a different thing. So we never judge a book by its cover or the title. So si kuwa nataka niwe carried as Tanzania Tanzania top model Tanzania top model. I, 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 at the end of the day I was still nila bena and I wanted to to know the meaning of acquiring this title and then sasa ni responsibility gani na kujia with all these things. And the, other, the, the responsibility began baada ya mimi kwenda South Africa. Uh, nilienda mara kwanza mwezi wa tisa, nikapata agency wakanipa fixed five years which was like yay amazing oh I have five years hata kipindi hicho my English kwa sababu mimi si yasoma English academy so I've, I've even had a struggle to learn how to speak proper English to understand and all these things. Kwa mkataba wangu nilivyousoma pale na baba akaniuliza umesoma mkataba vizuri umeelewa and I was like yes nimeelewa kila kitu. But what I didn't understand was kwamba unalipwa pa gig. I love the gig ambayo unalipwa you, you get paid in 90 days after the day of the shoot. Three months. That's three months. So mimi huyu hapa mwezi wa kwanza 2015 I moved to South Africa. 
when i moved to south africa kwa sababu i was just an immature alafu kuna hichi kitu ambacho sisi tunatokaga huko tanzania tunajiona ya mimi ni model nikifika pale kwa sababu the whole country cheers you on kwamba yeah, you are a model you are an amazing model lakini ukifika kule there is like million other models kuna watu there is different personality there are people who are beautiful kwamba ukiingia hata kwenye casting you are like what am i even going to get this job kwa ni things ambazo na have to deal with and i remember when i was thrown in that mchanganyiko i was like wow now unaamka kila siku asubuhi unaenda casting na kumbuka january nimefika naenda casting mpaka yani una january nzima i did not book anything now the job ambayo i booked kwa sababu i'm very i'm very strong with runway catwalk so the first job i booked it was um Uh, Tiger of Sweden it was a fashion show. Na hiyo fashion show it was barely 2000 maybe 1.8. Na hiyo kuna kuna agency deduction kwa sababu the agency na take 20%. 20% inachukua na inakulipia VAT 25%. So that's 45%. So deduct kwenye hiyo 1800 watoe 45% alafu unabaki na chenchi yako. Almost kama laki tatu laki tatu. Na nakwambia sasa wakishatoa 45% unabaki na chenchi yako hiyo. Hiyo ndio ya kwako. Ni chenchi. <laughs> So for me I didn't I could never even count that money so I always thought kwamba sijawahi kupata chochote from January. Kwa nimeka January, February going to castings back and forth uh, March back and forth to castings alafu inafika mahali kwa sababu I remember me before kuondoka I have a very supportive family and friends by the time nika nili, before sijaondoka kuja South Africa nikamwambia guys okay naenda hivi South Africa but you all know kwamba sina kazi sina nini so is there way labda tukafanya fanya mpango hapa hata mimi nikaanze maisha kwa sababu i don't know what i'm going to face nahitaji nyumba nahitaji kula nahitaji all these things kwao nikaa nimepata kama kimchango fulani hivi kutoka kwa familia na marafiki na kila kitu so i had something in my account nimefika nimelipa kodi kodi nilikuwa nalipa na 3500 per month F3500 it's over like sita ya mwezi yeah. kwa huku. Kwa mimi yani hata usitake ku translate yetu unataka kujua rate ya huku Tanzania shilingi kwa sababu you lose your mind utafikiria mm-hmm. mimi Tanzania nalipaje laki sita kwa mwezi at the time I was like no ways. So hata sikuwa nataka kutu, I didn't want to know anything it's like I had to turn a blind eye on my past on my life in Tanzania na kuanza a completely new life. Nakumbuka mwezi wa tatu imefika I did not book any job mwezi wa nne hapa and obviously the man ambao uko kwenye account ina run off sasa mimi naanza kuhisi okay now i don't have a talent now i'm really not a model as much as i thought yani yote it was just in my head so mwezi wa nne mwezi wa nne hapo so i was like you know what i need to find a place ambayo nitakuwa nalipa cheaper first kwa sababu i need to anakuwa na akili at this point that's when unaanza sasa ku it's like you're waking up to a reality kwa sababu mimi wakati nimefika January everything was just dreamy still dreamy kwa sababu i have this dream yeah it's gonna work out i'm gonna be an amazing model i'm gonna make it worldwide it's gonna be amazing but it was not like that you just it's everything sasa ndo unaanza ku hit you're waking up to a reality kwamba it's not glitz and glamour so baada ya hapo nikapata nikabidi nitafute kazi za nje nje na kumbuka nikapata kazi ya voice over ambao wanatafuta walikuwa wanatafuta wa Tanzania wanaongea Kiswahili sahihi na fasaha kwa ajili ya kuingiza kwenye hizi movie za Kihindi. Kwa hiyo nikapata hiyo kazi na kumbuka nikawa nilipwa vizuri kwa miezi sita ya kwanza mpaka mwezi wa moja things ikazi lakini between hapo nikawa nimepata my first gig which was in August and then between before that I went to my agency nikauliza kwamba is it me kwamba am I even talented or is it really about me wakanambia no here is the game in fashion industry wanataka representative kwamba wakita wakitoa commercial skin wataka kuona a chinese person wataka kuona indian person wataka kuona a black person wataka kuona a white person lakini when they want to see a black person what are between you where your light skin now most of tanzanians are yeah. where your light skin alafu kuna darker skin tones wakati wanataka ku represent black people they will, to, or they will obviously choose the darker tone over you any day any minute and fast kwa pale ikani hit kwamba okay na wakaniambia you need to you need to know what 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 puts you out of the crowd kama ukiwa na blonde hair puts you out then i think you should rock blonde hair kama ukiwa sijui um maybe umevaa this way very trendy then that's what should put you out of the market like kwamba unakaa wewe ndo utaonekana tofauti na wengine so i had to learn that quickly nika adapt to that na kumbuka i changed my hair to blonde nikapata kazi my first gig uh, with Chelsea South Africa 
it paid a lot well for the time it was 27000 rand and then by december nikarudi nyumbani and i was like mama mistaki kwenda nini 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 nistaki kwenda kufanya kwa sababu by mwezi wa 11 nikaanza kufanya kazi klabu lakini nilifanya kama wiki mbili kwa why it did not even matter like that lakini nikarudi nika nyumbani nika mama mistaki kwenda akaniambia no go Oh yeah, stick it out. Bila kurudi, yani usifikirie kurudi nyumbani. Yani kurudi nyumbani is the last thing you think about. Stick it out alafu uone itakuwaje. Nikarudi mwezi wa kwanza South Africa, nikaanza kulikaingia tena kufanya kazi disco. Sasa wewe ndo unaenda maklabu unaingia saa tano usiku unatoka saa kumi na moja. Pa night unalipwa rand 900 ambao pa, pa week I was able to make about maybe 2.5 or 3000 rand ambayo ilikuwa inasaidia kulipa rent, kula na kila kitu. Hiyo nikafanya kwa miezi miwili. Lakini sasa hiyo miezi miwili unaofanya unashindwa una kulala. Asubuhi inabidi uingie casting ambazo casting zinaanza saa 3 asubuhi. Au unashindwa kwenda kwenye auditions au hata kama ukienda unashindwa kupata kazi kwa sababu they see kama you have not slept, you don't look fresh, you look tired. Okay, nikasema okay, now I have to quit this job. Sasa nikabidi ni focus my attention fully to modeling. Na was like, okay, now I have to stick it out. Sasa hapo ku stick it out ndo nililala njaa. Kwa sababu huna hela. Hiyo miezi mitatu nika move to Cape Town miezi mitatu unasubiri kulipwa. Una, una wakati unasubiri kulipwa, what are you doing in between? Ndo utalala njaa kama una saving ndo zimeisha, utakaa usa nyingine mimi had to walk to a casting, unakuta casting na una umbali wa masaa mawili natembea masaa mawili unafika kwenye hiyo casting unakosa hawakubook you did not book the job unarudi nyumbani you sleep and you cry and you're like wow i really am like why am i even doing this nakumbuka ndo swala ambayo nilikuwa najiuliza mara kwa mara why am i doing this why can't i just get up and leave nakumbuka hata baba ananiambia okay rudi nyumbani siju huko anatania anasema huko yani huko chakula cha bure spirit nini unajua vile yeah. lakini at the end of the day it was not food i was looking for sawa na starve and everything lakini it was not food i wanted i wanted more i wanted a meaning for my life i wanted to to be able to hold something and say kwamba mimi i fought for this and this is mine he, he knowledge i've gained it by myself nimepitia hizi struggle and whatever the case and this is where i am now and I'm so grateful kwa sababu ni vitu ambavyo nilivipitia myself na nime struggle and all these things and nikafanya hadi waitressing na vitu kama hivyo hizo uh, kufanya club and i remember 2017 2018 things started turning around nikaanza nika I, i started booking more jobs and everything lakini i i'm thinking now if i hadn't stick around ni singeweza kufika hapo nilipofika nikaanza ku book jobs and by 2018 i had never booked a job ambayo ilikuwa inalipa zaidi ya dola uh, 3 kwa hiyo nilikuwa napata vikazi vidogo vidogo ambavyo vinanisaidia ku get by. Na kitu ambacho nataka kuambia wa Tanzania mnamuona mtu anasema ah wewe unaishi nje sio unafanya modeling nje oh mbona una maendeleo na it's a struggle out there. It's not a joke. It's not kwamba it's glitz and glamour. It's a search for a passion na, na kitu as long as it's passion how one kitu kwamba kwa sababu hata ile passion yenyewe it wants you to see kwamba how passionate are you. Yeah. Like do you really want this as much as you? Sasa wewe I will starve you. I will make you walk a long distance. I will make you cry tears of pain and then I will see if you can still say kwamba okay, I still want to do this. This is what I had to go through and I can still still say today with a smile on my face kwamba oh I love modeling. Oh I, I am so gonna do this for the long time. You understand? And um nakumbuka 20 2018 20 when 2019 started things really took a, a different turn in my life. Yani I I walk I walk into a room and at a casting directors they're like wow a bag of money just walked in. Yani I walk to a place and I can say kwamba okay I want you guys to pay kulinipia nyumba ili nikae hapa. Nakumbuka nilipata contract 8 uh, months from 2018 about August even mpaka March 2019. Nikaambia okay guys if you want me to work with you in Cape Town inabidi mnilipie nyumba na nyumba walikuwa wanalipa over a million per month. Lakini they were ready kwa sababu they see kwamba you have built yourself to a place kwamba you are capable of working nakumbuka kama ingekuwa ni 2015 kwa sababu mwenyewe i was scared i didn't even know what i was doing kwamba ningesinga hata kumwambia mtu kwamba eti naomba unilipie nilipie ni nyumba alafu mimi nitafanya kazi i was not even yani inabidi uwe na ile confident kwamba you walk in a room and you own a space and you're like you know what i know what i bring to the table and this is what i bring to the table and if you want to have me on your board this is how much you're going to have to spend and this is how much you're going to have to this is the standards and you have to climb up to them otherwise it's a win win i'm off like kuna kama wewe hutaki kufanya kazi na mimi there are million other people want to do it and 
in that way at a Cape Town clients you walk in a room kuna hata the last the last commercial i did walikuwa wanatafuta ballerina girl i'm not a ballerina girl but i can move really graceful and all that stuff kutokana na mazoezi and all these things and vitu ambavyo unabidi tufanye kwa sababu mtu mtu kuna watu hapa Tanzania naona ni mamodo lakini mtu unamwambia eti uh, you, you are a model and i call the camera you are shy what do you mean kwa sababu mimi nilifanya nilifanya acting 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 course wako wanasema there are things kwamba tunaisi have it translate lakini when you look to the camera your fears everything translates so when you walk into the audition room leave everything you have behind kwa mimi hata bado nilikuwa nakuta saa nyingine nimelala nje lakini nikaenda kwenye casting utafikiri nimekula sijui pilau ya asubuhi nitafika pale they tell you to smile you are like Sijui jump dance mimi am there dancing wanakuuliza oh what what kind of a person are you are like I'm, I'm a happy person lakini uwezo kufika pale you have this down energy you're like no yeah I'm Nila Bernard no I'm Nila Bernard like you're excited about life yeah. you're excited to be there and that's the thing ambayo nataka watanzania wengi tujifunze kwa sababu if you really want to be out there you have to understand kwamba people especially the casting directors they see your translation on the camera wanakuona hata kama hawata identify ni tatizo gani exactly you know you have they can identify the fear in your eyes kwamba okay i'm really not sure of myself i'm here but really i'm not sure i should be here like you need to look at the camera and be like yeah i'm here and i belong here i'm here and i'm worthy being here i'm here and i deserve this money i deserve this commercial and if you don't book me for this commercial you're really losing like for me and that, that's been my vibe like nikiingia kwenye nakumbuka hata kuna tell I booked it this year. Wakaanza so tell tell us what kind of a person you are. And for me nilikuwa na check but I was like you know what? I'm a vibe. You can take me to church, you can take me to the club, you can take me to your mom like I everywhere you can take me. And nakumbuka it was very exciting and I booked the job. Kwa sababu na kuona sema she is really a vibe. We can really take her everywhere. And ni kwamba to to know yourself to a point kwamba you you are not unaamka asubuhi and you feel you are enough kwa sababu modeling uko hivyo inakufanya kila siku unaamka kuna watu wengine milioni wazuri afu unajiona hivi mimi kweli jamani miata simekuja tu kucheza hapa but you have to it teaches you to know yourself and unakuwa na, na una, 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 u, i, kwa sababu we all have issues self esteem issues kwamba una feel uh, but no in modeling you have to be sure of yourself every waking day you have to wake up and be sure of yourself kwamba mimi i'm doing i'm on the right place i'm doing the right thing and sio kwenye modeling to in life in general we all, whatever field you have chosen you have to wake up and be sure always kuniambia doctor atatoka aingie chumba cha operation afu anze kutetemeka hivi operation itaweza kweli he walks in there like i can really do this this person is going to walk out amepona whether anajua atapona au hatapona hiyo ni, ni ya baadaye lakini every day ana walk in knowing kwamba i can do this and i will do this so pretty much that's what that's what i've been going through and the last the last thing ambao nadhani nadhani it has been a reason for me to go all through this thing kwa sababu hakuna sijawahi kuona mimi mtanzania ambaye ametoka na kusema kwamba haya ndo matatizo tunayopitia haya ndo matatizo yaliyopo na kila kitu sasa mimi nataka watanzania wenzangu tujue kwamba out there kwa sasa hivi kuna kwa kwa modo tuliyoko kule nje there is this um uh, tunajaribu kufanya kwamba to, to pledge kwamba tuwe tunalipo at least every month it has not yeah. it, ni kitu ambacho hakijapitishwa bado but it's something ambao sisi mamodo tunajaribu kuna nili against kwamba it's hard kwamba unamlipa mtu miezi baada ya miezi mitatu how how a person supposed to survive in between it's hard kwa kama wa ambao wanatoka Tanzania watakuja kule nje watakuta hivyo vitu vimeshapitishwa it's fine kama ni bado that's the story unalipo baada ya miezi mitatu so if you have a career make sure ukitoka huku the first thing na mimi nawashauri watu first thing first thing hakisha una, una talent nyingine ambayo itakusaidia wewe kuku na ni kama ukifika kule alafu kuna hii watu wanaona oh mimi mtu mkubwa nikifika kule sijui siwezi kufanya kazi hizi mimi nimefanya hadi waitressing nimefanya hosting in a club and everything na hudumia watu na kila kitu ni kwa sababu the end of the day you have to be humble in this life or otherwise you are not going to get anywhere kuna mtu kwa sababu kama unajisi wewe wewe ni sijui ni mwenye kitu kuna mtu ni raisi kwa ukifika kwa, kwa rais wewe mwenyekiti ni nani so it's it's those things it's that thing kwamba in life kuna there are people who have bigger pl- positions in life than you and kuna watu ambao wana bigger spirits than you kwamba akifika anaona kwamba mimi yani mimi hapa ndo mkubwa kwa hiyo and wana ku break sometimes you get in a room unaisi kwamba you are small whatever the case but you have to know yourself you have to be sure kila siku and, and be humble stay humble know know your path and never get off it kwa sababu kama ni safari umeichagua ujue na kutembea kwa sababu ukishachagua this is where i'm going utapata vikwazo vingi sana vitakavyotaka kukutoa 
kuna siku ita mtu atakuwa mimi nilikuwa unakuta sengine sina tela na ule afu mtu ananiambia na rande 30 hapa tu njo njo kwangu lale kwangu eh unawaza ile rafisa sisi hapa sinitapiga maisha marefu hapa yani kama ndio lakini kwa huku kwa huku especially wasichana hapa Tanzania wanaona sijui ni sifa au sijui au dangaji sijui ni nini that's not life kwa sababu hakuna maisha ya tunaoenda hata hawa wanaume kuna siku mtu hawezi ku risk ma kuweka maisha yake pembeni kwa sababu wewe unafikiria mimi huyu mtu anipe hata ana familia yake ana ndugu zake ana watu ambao wanamtegemea sio mwanamke wake ambaye ndo unamtegemea peke yake na kwa nini tuishi maisha ya kutegemea watu wakati kila mtu umeumbwa na viungo hata vilema wanafanya vitu vya kuwa vya kuwaingizia hela kwa nini wewe mtoto hakika unatoka unasema mimi nitaishi maisha ya kudanga sio nitaishi no that's not life everybody has to go out there search for your purpose kwa sababu kila mtu ana purpose yake duniani kila mtu ana kitu ambacho anatakiwa afanye ili kimfanye yeye aishi kwa amani aishi vizuri so find that and then when you find it everything else works out kila kitu kita flow and that's where i am and for now for mimi i hope i can be able to to build the space ku, ku encourage other models ambao wanaspire kuwa models kwamba at least nipunguze maumivu kwa sababu goal yangu ni kwamba at least mtu akiwa leta akifika South Africa akiwa labda ame ana miezi sita nyumba yake imelipiwa ana miezi sita ambao ana, ana uhakika wa kula then yeye yeah, concentrate tu kwenye kwenye kazi that's what i want to do i want to be able to help other models kwamba yani hata mtu akitoka Tanzania hapa akienda South Africa na miezi sita ambao sure kama miezi sita hiyo you, you are not able to stand for yourself then i don't know what i can do lakini i want to build a foundation to help other people kwa sababu i wished someone had built the foundation for me kwamba nikifika kule hata miezi sita ya kwanza nimelipiwa kodi labda sijui na modo gani huko ambaye ni, ni mkubwa huko Tanzania ametulipia kodi miezi sita mmoja ambao tuna aspire afu tunalipiwa chakula yani wewe unawaza tu kwenda kwenye casting afu sababu unajituma and then you can see do I, am i really talented kwa sababu we are not all strong kuna wengine ukifika through that time ndo unavunjika unakuwa una shindwa hata kufanya unaingia kwenye mambo mengine unaacha hata kitu kilichokuleta uh, popote hapo umeenda kufuatilia dream yako so for me i wanna be able to build a safe space for everybody who wants to build up their dreams and a foundation and si wewe kumpromise mtu kwamba nita kujengea miaka mitatu kwa sababu i know how hard it is out there but if you can pata six months ambao mentally you are focusing in one space even mentally even everything will work out kwamba utaweza kufanya okay miezi sita hii nimeweza kufanya hii na da da naweza nikaendelea mwenyewe that's all i want to do so far so good but otherwise i wish everybody all the best it's not cute as it looks but you can do it if you want to do it okay yeah so there you have it nel banad telling us her life story to know more get your copy of the status in newspaper thank you subscribe mcl digital